I'm Ashton Addison, and today on the Crypto Coin Show, we have Oleg Fomenko, co founder of Sweat Economy. Oleg, welcome to the show, and thank you for taking the time. Thank you very much for having me here, Ashton. You're very welcome. I'm, I'm excited to dive into uh, Move to Earn and just getting fit. You know, some, especially when you're in blockchain, you get stuck on the computer. I feel like everybody's getting stuck on the computer a little bit too long nowadays, and uh, it's important to exercise, but also if there's incentives to do so, uh, that's great as well. Um, so I would love to dive into Sweat Economy, the recent launch of the application, um, but let's kick it off from the top. Um, I know that you have a history in uh, building exercise and tech apps um, to do with Sweat as well. This isn't the first one, so you have quite a history of it. I'd love to hear a little bit of your story uh, leading up to Sweat Economy, and then we'll dive into the latest details. Great question, Ashton. Um, I'll probably start with saying that I looked at Bitcoin for the first time in 2011, but I was really, really not terribly clever because I got hooked on technology and read white paper and you know, kind of a few publications that were around. I did not buy a few thousand of them, and they were only 20 cents each. But you know, I, I've been told that there are plenty of people like that around, so you know, kind of, I'm not feeling terribly bad about it. Mm -hmm. But then fast forward to 2014, and we started having conversations with my co-founders about the question, why aren't we as physically active as we want to be? And everyone would start sort of citing motivation, money, time, energy. You know, everyone's got sort of explanation why they cannot go to the gym as many times as they want to, or why they don't go for a run in the morning. And what we realized very quickly was that the issue in the culprit is none of those things. The issue is nature. Nature did not build us to be active. Nature built us to survive, which means preserve calories as opposed to spend them. And unless there is a very, very good reason to spend those calories, we would simply sit around the fire. And we would run if there is mammoths showed up, because then it's food, we try to kill it, to preserve, you know, kind of to have some calories for the tribe. Or we would run if, say, the first tiger is about to make food out of us, you know, then we'll be just, you know, saving ourselves. Mm -hmm. In all other circumstances, we wouldn't be, you know, kind of, we wouldn't be moving. We wouldn't be doing pull-ups, push-ups, you know, kind of looking good wasn't of particular value. We continue doing this right now. But food comes in abundance, calories are everywhere, but nature builds us in such a robust way that, you know, we continue sitting around unless you really do a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. But what we also realize that nature gives us a suggestion how to tackle this problem and how to make it work. And the answer is instant gratification. Mm -hmm. So we thought, hmm, what if we create an instant gratification for every single step you take? How would that impact behavior? And we launched Sweatcoin. As name suggests, we wanted it to be on blockchain already back in 2014, but we quickly realized that Bitcoin and blockchain, which was the only blockchain in existence, was too slow, too cumbersome, too expensive to build on. And we thought, hmm, okay, we'll just hold fire and we're going to jump on the next project that comes along. We spoke to Vitalik in 2015. We wanted to build an Ethereum, but again, it also was too early. We launched Centralized, and we thought, well, within six months to a year, there are bound to be something launching. Mm -hmm. Every year, we would do an analysis of blockchain tech, and every year, the answer would be, no, our business would not be able to survive if we were to move on to this or that project. Mm -hmm. Until last year, when we discovered Near. I mean, we have we looked at more than a dozen different projects because all of a sudden there was a lot of really fast technology, Algorand, Solana, BNB, Polygon, you know, mm -hmm. you name it. They just sort of came out of woodwork pretty much at the same time. Mm -hmm. But we chosen near and we launched in September last year in many geographies outside of the US. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we launched, we have 25, more than 25 million users in the US on Sweatcoin, our Web2 health and fitness mm -hmm. application. And they started, you know, asking questions why the rest of the world is able to walk into crypto and we have to continue playing the centralized point system, Sweatcoin. 
and you know, the, the more volume of this post we were receiving, the more we were realizing that actually it probably was a mistake not to include the United States. And we started doing a lot of digging, a lot of research into what is possible, how is it possible for us to go live. And we made the decision that, you know what, it is absolutely, absolutely essential because our users were not happy. Our users outside of the U.S. made a governance vote with 380,000 people casting their vote, which is by far the biggest Web3 governance vote ever, basically giving green light to the U.S. launch and allocating a budget for it. And we effectively, you know, kind of had to do it. And yesterday, we pushed the button and more than 300,000 Americans have opted in to participate in the launch. It does mean that they, you know, kind of others can join. No, 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 no. But these are the people that had significance with coin balances. And what they managed to do yesterday was to convert their past physical activity that is embodied in sweat coin, decentralized points. And they were able to convert them into sweat and they got a, you know, kind of significant amount effectively in consideration for their past calories burned. But if you're interested in this idea and you want to literally walk into crypto, you can do it right now. Install Sweatcoin, opt into crypto, and your steps going forward will be convertible into Sweat. Mm -hmm. Wow, very cool. And uh, you know the market for this is is huge. You know these all, all these athletic companies. They say our market is anybody who moves their body, which is, is mostly everybody. You know and. Uh, um, you have to have smartphone and you have to have legs. <laughs> These are the only requirements that we have. Unlike a lot of move to earn projects, we're not mm -hmm. charging you at the door for some NFT. You know, kind of. It's really, really straightforward. Free apps. They don't consume your, you know, kind of um, much of your battery. So I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, mm -hmm. really, the opportunity cost is zero. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. A lot of our users, they join because they kind of go, what? They pay me to walk? How is that possible? What's going on here? They come in and they kind of realize that, yes, it works. These guys don't sell data. That's extremely important because a lot of people, especially I know that in the U.S., it's very typical that businesses would monetize data. We don't. We are based in Europe. Data is stored in Europe. We're subject to GDPR, which is the most draconian privacy protecting mm -hmm. framework, legal framework in the world. Mm -hmm. And we, we also philosophically, we don't believe that data is ours to share or to sell. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And I like the, the progression into something like the near blockchain, where I feel like these exercise applications, they're really all about you know, microtransactions or like say you only take a couple steps and you want to get one or two coins. Maybe it's only a yeah. few cents at the time. Um, before with Bitcoin and Ethereum, you know, any transaction cost, uh, even if you want to buy a coffee, you know, it's going to be a couple dollars to, to transact a few cents for a couple dollars is obviously not worth it. Um, but now with the advancement of blockchain technology uh, and the better interactivity and just the user interface really not having to have to understand, especially with Nier, I know they don't even have the hexadecimal addresses. It's just like, you know, Oleg Fomenko dot near. Like it's, 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 the wallet is simple. Even if you get to the technical side, I'm sure it isn't that, that technical. Um, but the, the beauty is that you're able to slowly earn small amounts of money for doing things that you were already going to do anyway. Um, and I would love to sort of get a, a walkthrough <clears throat> from your perspective of how exactly does it work when you go for a walk? So you open up the, the Sweat Economy app. Um, and then mm -hmm. you either walk or run and then you earn a certain amount of coins. Um, is there thresholds or how exactly does that work? Okay. So the entry point is or remains Sweat Coin, our original health and fitness app. And okay. you, you'd be in a very good company. That app has more than 200 million installations and you can find it on both App Store and Google Play. Mm -hmm. And over the last nine years, and you know, millions and millions of users. Mm -hmm. We've perfected tracking of your steps, but also, which is extremely important, verification of the steps. Because as you can imagine, as soon as you start paying for steps, 
a lot of people immediately try to shake the phone, put the yeah. phone on the dog and let it run in the park or uh-huh. put it on top of a dishwasher, you know, while it's uh-huh. shaking. Uh, <laughs> you name it, we have it. There is a actually very funny website called unfitbits.com that teaches you how to screw with your phone and wearable into believing that you're physically active. <laughs> we had to deal with all of those use cases and then many more. So we track, verify your movement. And if it's genuine, then we issue you with sweat coins at the rate of 1000 steps to one. Or if you opted into crypto and you want to earn sweat, which is our crypto token instead of sweat coins, then you will be needing to walk more and more and more in real time in order to mean the next sweat. For example, at the moment, you need to walk four and a half thousand steps in order to mint one sweat. One year ago, we started one with 1000 and we have this constantly rising step value. We call it step value curve of sweat. And the reason why we designed it this way is twofold. Reason one is that makes you realize that walking earlier and more is a very, very good idea. And basically, you get better return on your movement. And the reason, too, is that ensures that over time, monetary supply inflation approaches zero. Mm -hmm. So while it's uncapped, the inflation over time approaches zero. Mm -hmm. And if you couple it with all of those burns that community have voted on, because we generate quite a lot of revenue, and revenue in sweat simply goes into voting. Revenue in tokens, half of our profits we use to buy tokens on the open market. And those, again, go into votes. And community voted already multiple times to burn those tokens. So tightening supply plus burns means that we already, in July this year, managed to become a deflationary project. So our token economics, in Web2, that would be analogous to being profitable. So circulating supply at the end of the month is lower than at the beginning of the month, which is a pretty incredible achievement. And not many projects in Web3 can claim this. You know, yeah. Ethereum was deflationary for about six months. Last month, it fell out, and I think it was somewhat inflationary. So it is a big, big, big challenge to actually achieve this, especially in Move to Earn that a lot of people you know, thing that is by definition is not possible to make in the sustainable economy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And with I, with the app, you know, already have 25 million users. I feel like that's, uh, if, if you can get all of these onboarded into Web3, you know, that's, it's a huge market because 25 million, I, I have a feeling you guys aren't going to stop there. You know, you could probably have hundreds of millions of people um, if the incentives are aligned and, you know, if everyone gets on board with this. Um, but one thing to note, I feel like, is maybe the people that need the most attention to their health uh, are mm-hmm. also sort of the not very tech friendly, especially when it comes to blockchain as well. You know, maybe it's elderly or uh, people that have, you know, they, they don't really use their phone a lot. Um, yeah. Do you see a gap in the market for helping those in need? but also really they're not very tech friendly and how would you solve that gap? Great question. I mean, having such a huge user base, we of course have been catering to a lot of different segments, not just very technology and crypto savvy people. Mm -hmm. And what we've learned over the last nine years is how to build an incredibly good user experience that is simple, straightforward, does not require you to be a rocket scientist. And we've practiced on Sweatcoin, and now with our non-custodial wallet, Sweat Wallet, we also bring quite a lot of innovation and really web to UX simplicity into what is typically extremely complex UX. For example, you don't have to you know, take down 24 word seed phrase when you are activating your Sweat Wallet. You do not have encounters with Hoddle, Biddle, 
finality and staking and other terminology that typical user would not really know what this means. And for us, it's very natural to put these words in the text and you know into our conversation. But if person who is not really so crypto native and who's not been educated over a long period of time, that pushes them away. Because if you don't understand words that people are using, mm. that means that you know this is not your game. You don't want to come in. So we really spend a lot of time solving this problem. And we know that Sweat Wallet is having very, very high ratings. I mean, you can go and see for yourself in App Store and Google Play. You know, people really like it because it makes them able to literally walk into crypto without having them feel that they have to learn the science of operational security. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we really focused on and we solved for users, which is a major barrier for mass market adoption of Web3, is the fact that users who tried before and failed, they, even if they master 24 words and phrases and stuff, then the next step was always pull out a credit card and buy crypto. Mm -hmm. And if God forbid they were doing it on Ethereum, then the amounts of money that they actually needed to put in mm -hmm. in order to start learning the ropes would be in hundreds of dollars or you know, can, you really couldn't make sense of many things without spending at least a grand or two, right? Mm -hmm. Because if transactions were like eighty dollars to two hundred dollars, you know, even a thousand wouldn't get you very far. Mm -hmm. And they are not ready to do this. They are not ready to put money first and then learn later. They want to learn first. They want to take a few steps. They want to understand how everything works. And that is exactly what we're giving them. We're giving them an opportunity to move one foot in front of another. They feel that their steps have value, which means that they're more physically active. So they're burning more calories. They are fitter, healthier. They're going to live longer. And in addition, they're acquiring some crypto assets that allow them to experience transactions, sending and receiving, staking, or we call them grow jars. So, you know, they understand how it all works. Then they go and they engage with learn and earn. So they get lessons, you know, what is blockchain? How does it work? What are stable coins? So basic questions that, you know, for us are obvious, but for these people, you know, they need answers. And in addition to acquiring this knowledge, they're getting paid, which is pretty incredible proposition if you think about it. So they're constantly thinking, what's going to be my next thing? What I'm going to engage in? We're now rolling Sweat Hero which is our sort of free NFT game that allows you to battle with other people by walking on the screen. I'm not going to give you all the details, but if you want, you can get a sneak preview on YouTube. There are a few videos out there that explain how the game works. We're also introducing trading. We're introducing a lot of different functionality that basically makes your physical activity tokenized into more valuable asset than just tokenized physical activity. Mm -hmm. And I'll finish with the thought that, you know, what we're really building is not just a, you know, a DAP with a token. We have a vision of building movement economy. Think of it as an attention economy that by some estimates is $7 trillion, where you give your attention to Google or Facebook. They sell it to third parties, uh, advertisers. They return some value to you in the shape of a free product or free service, right? We believe that movement economy can be done better. I give physical activity and I benefit as well because I will live longer. I am fitter. I am healthy. I'm in a better mood. I'm more productive. I put less pressure on healthcare systems around the world. There are other parties that are willing to pay for it. Insurers, healthcare providers, employers countries ultimately because if you're physically active you're going to live longer you're going to pay more taxes it's a pretty good business so we believe that movement economy certainly has potential of being even bigger than attention economy and attention economy is 7x the whole crypto what stays in the way of building this quickly is tokenized physical activity because otherwise we need to invent these convoluted ways of 
you giving physical activity, us giving you free product. And if you notice, Google, Facebook, and a lot of other businesses, they haven't given us fully loaded value of attention. Otherwise, they wouldn't be called big tech. They wouldn't be monsters as they are right now. They've taken full value of attention, and they've given us this much back. Mm -hmm. With movement economy, it's got to be different. It's got to be all the value that physical activity is worth should be going to people who are physically active because that's going to persuade you to be more active. That is going to create more wealth and value for everybody. Mm -hmm. And we're happy to basically be the guarantor that no gaming, no faking, no cheating is entering into the system. Mm -hmm. Wow, very interesting, Oleg. And I'm glad that you mentioned that part about the game and the NFTs. I feel like a lot of people that are just getting into crypto, <clears throat> if they are getting their first coins through an app like, like Sweatcoin, um, you know, even if in the past I've sent some Bitcoin or Ethereum to some people and it's their first coins, but they're really not in the system, they don't really understand, okay, what do I actually do with this? It's now it's just sitting in my wallet. You know, I guess I'll just hold it for years to come because I really don't know what to do or the next steps. I feel like having those little easy onboardings of, hey, you can use it here, or maybe we're partnering with these big companies and you can use your coins to get some fitness apparel or something like that. Um, I feel like a, a partnership with like Nike or Adidas would be a, a huge advantage for, for you guys uh, in the future. I'm curious about specifically fitness brands and, and big companies. Is Are those kind yeah. of partnerships in the works? I cannot possibly confirm or deny, but... <laughs> One thing that I would do is I would point you to Sweat Hero because um, if you open the tab in the Sweat Wallet, mm -hmm. you will actually see the sort of basic NFT that mm -hmm. you will receive. And we call them legs. You know, it's an avatar that is, you know, because we're all about steps, we're all about legs. Mm -hmm. And we build this really, really cool looking, you know, massive collection of legs that, of course, are dressed in various different attire and they wear different shoes and all of them are unique. So that represents a really, really interesting partnership opportunity, mm -hmm. not at the level of fungible tokens, but mm -hmm. at the level of actual visual you know, kind of representation of brands and their products for millions of our users. I like your train of thought. And you know, I'm sure that we'll see that, but I'm just not going to sort of jump into committing to to a brand and the time slot. Definitely, yeah. I feel like uh, I, I could put two and two together in, in how that could work uh, with the NFTs. Um, so I'll, I'm going to take a look at the Sweat Hero and, and look into that uh, and see if I can col <laughs> collect some beforehand. Um, so with the application, I guess people can just get it on on Android and an iPhone on their yeah. phones and then you open up store type mm -hmm. sweat sweat coin is going to be at the top you open the app you find a banner that says walk into crypto follow prompts and you'll end up installing sweat wallet so sweat coin is a health and fitness step tracker and the sweat wallet is the non-custodial mobile wallet application that manages your sweat the reason why they're two separate is because they're very, very different. One is effectively FinTech, it's like a banking app. Mm -hmm. And another one is health and fitness application, a pedometer with sort of massive additional functionality. Mm -hmm. When we discussed with users combining it, they were like, bank with pedometer or pedometer with a bank? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that in the future, it will become, you know, kind of widely accepted and we will probably bring them together. At the moment, it feels a lot more natural to keep them separate. Yeah, very cool. Well, I can leave the links to those uh, in the notes show, uh, the show notes below Oleg as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to all these future updates that you mentioned uh, for Sweat Economy, um, and I'll be following along. I'll also leave the socials uh, to the platforms uh, in, in the description thank you. below. And uh, thank you so much for thank taking the time. Thank you very much. Aston, thank you very much for having me. And you know, in conclusion, I'll just say, you know, let's make the world more physically active. We've been at it for nine years, 
And actually, we are quite different crypto project because we are using crypto to accomplish that goal and objective, and it motivates a lot of people, as opposed to being in crypto because we want to be in crypto. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's working together.